Hey guys, what is up? It is Nate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Back again with another at-home workout. So last week I posted a 10-minute fat-burning bodyweight-only circuit that you guys can do at home. If you are yet to check out that video, I'll leave it down in the description box so you guys can check that out. But today, we're gonna to be focusing just on the lower body. So just like the previous workout video, this workout is gonna require zero equipment, and we're also gonna be using the timer again. So the structure of this workout is very similar to the last video. We're gonna set a timer for 10 rounds. You guys are gonna be spending 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. The catch is, there's only five exercises, so you're gonna to have to do two rounds to make up one round. So just like the last workout, if you wanna make it harder, all you need to do is just double the rounds. So for this workout, we're doing 10. That's what I'm gonna be showing you today. If you wanna make it harder, just double it or triple it. Now, I know I said this in my last video, but if you're new here, I did recommend that you guys download some form of timer to keep you guys on track. So this is the one that I use. It's called the Boxing Timer. Super simple to use. I put my rounds in, my working time, my rest time, and it keeps me on track during the whole workout. All right, so before we get into the workout, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the five exercises that we're gonna go through in this workout. So first exercise is the curtsy lunge. So what you wanna be doing with this exercise is making sure you have your arms out in front. We're gonna be stepping back, we're going into this position, okay, where we're dropping that back knee behind the other, okay? Now it's really important that we try to keep this foot, this front foot, going straight ahead. Second exercise is called the half burpee. Now this is really gonna elevate the heart rate and work a little bit on mobility at the same time. So hands down on the ground, you're gonna kick back, okay? Make sure you're not sagging through the hips, okay? Nice and strong through the core, okay? Now this is the kicker. When you guys jump in, you guys need to transition from hands to your feet and notice there that I actually got those feet nice and flat on the ground. Exercise number three, super simple, it's the squat pulses, okay? So you wanna have your feet about as wide as the mat is here, you wanna drop down, and what we're gonna do is go from the lowest position of the squat to about halfway up, and then back down again. Halfway up, and then back down again, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Make sure that you're controlling, you're not just bouncing through the movement like this, you wanna make sure you're controlling up, and controlling down. Now the next exercise is called the Kozak squat. So with this one, open up your stance, fairly wide on this one, angle those toes out. Now as you guys come down, you're gonna shift the weight, you're gonna to try to uh, keep one heel up on the ground. So you can see here, I go to flat foot, and then I transition. I'm transitioning my weight from one side of my body to the other, okay? Now the trick is here, is trying to stay upright with your position. Make sure we're not bending over, okay, or curling over. We wanna keep a nice, proud chest. Now the last exercise is gonna be a little bit more of a plyometric exercise. We're gonna go from narrow squats to wide squats, okay? So with this one, you wanna start off in your narrow position, okay? You're gonna drop down, and then when you come in, you're gonna go down into a narrow squat. So we're transitioning from a wider to a narrow squat like so. Now these narrow squats when you're in the middle are absolutely gonna burn. All right guys, so that's a run through of all the exercises. Now let's get into the workout. So by now, you should have your space set up, okay? Plenty of room for these exercises. And of course, you've got your timer waiting there. So you've got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds off. And remember guys, set it for 10 rounds if you're doing the base level. If you wanna make it harder, double that to 20 and then advanced, I would say is doing that for 30 rounds, okay? Let's get into it. I'm pressing start on my timer, so should you. Our first exercise is the curtsy lunge, okay? Now remember, make sure to keep your hands out in front. Here we go, and we're off. So drop down, chest up nice and tall, making sure guys, when you do this, you're trying to get that back knee down to the ground. Now for a lot of you, this might be a new movement, that's okay. If you have to, just reduce that range of motion there, okay? We're making sure to get that back foot, okay? behind the body, behind the body. There you go, chest upright, that's it. We got 15 seconds left, drop it down and then drive through that front leg. That's it, 10 seconds. All right, like I said guys, I'm doing this workout with you. Let's go. Perfect, all right. So we're starting to warm up, starting to limber up. Our next exercise is gonna work a little bit more on the heart rate and of course mobility as well. So it's the half burpee, hands down. Now when you guys jump in, okay, that's where I want you, right there. If it's too hard, hands down, and you can do it like that, okay? Here we go. Straight down, straight back up. Making sure we're not sagging through the lower back, just like so. Open up those hips. Those feet are gonna have to come out nice and wide and you're staying down low. That's where you feel the leg burning, okay? Hands, that's it, 20 seconds. Stay with me. 
making sure we're breathing nice and steady as we go through this workout. It's all about your breathing. Pop up, hands up, chest high. Here we go. Oh, I'm really feeling that through my hips. One more. Perfect. Ooh, all right. So like I said, you're gonna feel the heart rate go up very, very quickly. We're now gonna go into those squat pulses. A little bit more of active recovery here, guys. You're still gonna get that burn on the thighs, okay? So nice and simple. If you can't do the pulses, just go for a static hold. Okay, so we're coming down. Like I said, guys, you wanna control the upward and downward phase. Push those knees out, keep the weight in your heel, and keep those arms out in front, that's it. Let it burn. Try to stay down in this position for the whole 40 seconds. If need be, you can come up, shake your legs out, but try to stay down. Let's go. Oh, I'm really feeling that now. That's it, we're coming up to the 10 second marker. Stay with me, let's go. That's it. Perfect, guys. Five, four, feeling it. Three, two, and one. Now we really need to shake those out. Now we're going into that Kozak squat, guys. So remember, nice wide stance here. As we position and shift the weight from one side of the body, we also lift the feet and keep the heels planted, okay? Hands out in front. Three, two, one. Let's drop down. Okay, so depending on how flexible you are, we'll determine how far you can go down. Just make sure you're keeping that chest up nice and proud. So shifting that weight, bang, across the other side, bang. Don't rush it, slow and controlled. There you go, guys, looking good. We're halfway through, how are those legs feeling? They should be burning. If you wanna make it slightly easier, keep both feet planted, and you can just go across there. That'll reduce the range of motion slightly. Okay, make it a little bit easier for you. Let's go. Five seconds. That's it. Nice. All right, guys, stepping it back in nice and slow. Now, we're almost halfway. We're gonna go through the narrow squat and then to the wide squat. So it's narrow into wide squat. Here we go. Oh, as you guys can see, I'm getting worked here. So in and out here, guys. Start in the narrow squat position, okay? Feet nice and close, and then feet wider. Back in, feet nice and close, and then feet wider. Let's go. So I'm gonna show you from the side. Wide, okay? Transition in between the two. Arms out in front. Now I find here, and you might as well, that the narrow squat really kills me. Now unfortunately, I can't get my feet together, but if you can, that's fantastic. But just narrow, drive, 15 seconds. Good. Really feeling those thighs now. Let's go. Guys, we're halfway through the workout. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, so that is halfway through the workout. That's five exercises down. Now you guys know what's gonna be happening next. We're doing it all again, okay? So that is not one round, that is half of a round. So let's get set to go back to our curtsy lunge. Hands out in front again, here we go. And drop, stay with me, here we go. That's it. So the best thing about these workout videos and what I want you guys to get out of them is if you want to incorporate this into your, um, your weekly workout, now that you guys are training at home most likely, that is great. Or you guys can just pick and choose what exercises you like and then work that into your own home workouts. All right, so here we go. We've got 15 seconds. Dropping that knee down behind the body. Perfect, 10 to go. That's it, guys. Stay strong through those legs. Remember, it's an absolute leg burner, this workout. They should be burning. Perfect. All right, half burpee again. Now remember, if the first round you weren't able to get up onto your feet, I want you to push it a little bit more. If you're advanced, speed these right up. Okay, that'll take the heart rate right up through the roof. Here we go, starting in five, four, three, two, and one. So kick back, hands, let's go. So if you're a bit more advanced, this is the kind of speed you should be doing. Sorry, lifting the chest up. That's it. Hands up. That's it, good. Perfect, guys. That's it, keep moving. Stay on it. 
keep your breathing up. <laughs> lift those chests, lift those eyes. That's it. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Stay with me now. Up. Five, four, three, two, and just finishing off that one there. All right, guys, back to those squat pulses. Whoo! I love that exercise. Always gets the heart racing. It's a great one to work into a leg workout. Hits that mobility. Feeling it now. Here we go, squat pulses and down. So like I said, lowest position to a halfway up position, okay? So down, halfway up, let's go. We're working guys, that's 30 seconds. Okay, so remember, I don't wanna see you guys just here, bouncing, it's control. You can see, as I go up, as I go down, I'm controlling both phases. There you go, 15 seconds. Let's go guys, we're almost done with the first round. Let's go, burning, beautiful. After this, we've got our Kozak squats. Let's finish this off. Three, two, and one. Wow, they're effective. They don't look like much, but when you incorporate it with all these other leg exercises, they'll sneak up on you. Okay, Kozak, nice and wide. Here we go, this is one of my favorites. I love that stretch of my hamstring. Like I said, guys, Shift the weight from each side of the body. Hands out in front, here we go. Shift the weight. I've got to drive it out that leg. Transfer, drive it out that leg. That's it. We've got one more exercise after this, guys. Okay, that's the 10 minute marker. So if you just wanna, if you're a beginner or you're short on time, the next exercise will be your last. Remember, if you wanna take it up, double the amount of rounds. There you go. Pushing through, stretching, drive, 15 seconds. Let's go, drive, down, beautiful, up, drive. Up to the middle, shift the weight. We've got five seconds, I'm getting sweaty. Three, two, and one. Stepping it in, nice and slow, wow. Legs should be on fire by now, guys. Last exercise, here we go. We've got our narrow and then our wide squats, transitioning in between the two. Get a little bit of air time on this one, here we go. Starting in five. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go, so narrow, wide. Straight into narrow, there you go. Straight into narrow, perfect. This is it guys, last round, last set. Keep that breathing up, chest proud. We're killing it. Stay with me guys, keep moving, let's go. Beautiful, here we go, nice and narrow. Oh, it's always that narrow one. Drive. Let's go, last 10. You're with me, no one stops. No one stops, let's go. You're out there watching. No one stops, I'm with you. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, guys. You are now done with one round. If you wanna make it harder, set it up for 20, even harder, set it up for 30. And I guarantee you guys, your legs will be smoked. All right, guys, so as you can see, the heart rate is up. I can definitely feel that workout. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. So like I said, if you want to incorporate that into your home workouts now, twice a week, or just use and utilize some of those specific exercises into your workouts, that's absolutely fine. I'm just putting this content out there for you guys to help you out. I've had some requests, so it's great that I can finally get to making some videos for you and actually be involved. It's actually been really cool to actually do the workout alongside with you guys, so I know where you're feeling it the most and of course getting sweaty with you guys as well. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna share it with a friend, definitely get your friends involved, send it to them. They might like this workout as well. And if you guys love this workout, comment down below, let me know what your favorite part was, or if you guys wanna see any type of other workouts as well, let me know what you guys wanna see. All right guys, thank you so much for getting involved in this workout. I'll see you next time, peace.